Good morning traders and this is your DAX day trade setup for today. So um, looking at the daily it really does look like we had the rally we had a pullback to the Fibonacci levels and I think that was a 50% yeah, Fibonacci level and then we've accelerated uh, breaking a flag. Now you're going to see it clearer on the lower time frames. There you can see with our rally we had a bit of a double top here and then we broke through this um, this channel here or flag okay now it's not cut in stone just yet because I see another flag forming here so we've rallied into a flag so let me just put it here there's our flag there <laughs> so there is a chance that we break Back to the downside okay now the other thing that's um, kind of bugging me at the moment is this flag is on the 61.8 okay then the last thing that's bugging me about this setup and I'm making a really messy chart here is that that double top target has not been has not been hit yet okay so Those are all the things that are bagging me at the moment. So we've got a potential bullish pattern and then we've got a potential bearish pattern. Okay, on the same time frame, big confusion. So big up, big down, big confusion. Uh, and if we start drilling down to the lower time frames, you will see reasons to be concerned. So this is the first one. Uh, if you look there, pretty much a double top where price is making a new high, ever so slightly. So this a break below 13.279 would give you some downside. Now there is a pretty big wedge on the Dow as well. So I suspect there's going to be some form of profit taking. Um, profit taking slash reversal slash uh, retracement whatever you want to call it but I think it's going to be a bit of a pullback okay so that's the where we are there on the 30 minutes same kind of scenario the trend is up at the moment but with this mess that's happening here anything's possible now right now all the futures markets are pretty flat Okay, when I say flat, it's 0 0.02, 0 0.01, so they really are flat. Okay, um, currencies are flat, everything's flat at the moment, and that's to be expected. I don't think there's much going on at the moment. We're going to have to wait for the European Open to get some kind of volatility and then wait for the US Open. So, plan of action for me on the DAX is more than likely lower time frames and... Um, anticipate you can see we've already got a break of the alligator so this is the fractal level that I need a, a break below here 13.292 I need to close below that and then I need a bit of a pullback and then I'm going to go with the short okay uh, failure will be a break above this fractal here which is going to be 13.3 one nine okay before we switch across to the Ichimoku um, just a quick view on the small account so last week was a pretty good uh, week overall 38.4 percent gain uh, it's really just Friday where we made a few mistakes oh, a couple of big mistakes actually um, but anyway that's sorted out not anticipating much this week We've got four trading days, so we may pick up something on the 26th and 27th, but I doubt it. And uh, even the 24th is going to be interesting. So it's going to be a tough trading on this kind of setup. Volumes are low, lots of people on holiday. So you just got to be careful. Normally what happens is it's that uh, opening hour is pretty much all that you have to trade. The rest of it is nothing happening. Okay, so let's get across to 
the Ichimoku, see if there's anything else we can see here. So you can see we've broken below Kijinson here on the 12 minute, but everything is bullish. Okay, 30 minute, everything is bullish. All right, our top of cloud double top forming after a fairly strong move to the downside off of Fibonacci level. Okay, that is a very strong bearish signal. Okay, um, oscillators are not quite agreeing. Oscillators are saying we're probably going to be pulling back up, which is also possible. Anything's possible. But I'd almost expect it to come onto a trend line to get rid of this double top and then move away. Um, and if we look at the four hour, this is the one which, uh, in my mind, is convincing me that it's not, we're not going to be getting a continuation. This bigger double top here is the one that is in play. This is just a retest of the double top break. Okay, and the reason I say that is I have a bearish crossover here. And normally when you have a Kijinson Tickinson crossover like this and uh, prices above it, and nine times out of ten, it moves back to the downside. Okay, so that is why you know I'm kind of more leaning towards a short today. Okay, the daily keeps them things together flat. Nothing to read into that. Um, but yeah, I think that is the other. Well, sorry, the other thing is we broke back below this level here. And you can see we didn't close above it, we closed just short of it, 13.312. So if I come back to 12 minutes here, you'll see what I mean. Okay, the level we're looking for, uh, let's get it off the full hour. So I'm taking this area here, but it's quite a big area, there's another one there. Okay, so come back to the 12. And you'll see a lot of action in here. And the question is, is this a finally a rejection? Okay, so that is the plan of action today. Break above 13319, uh, more than likely looking for longs. Break below 13293, more than likely looking for shorts. Okay. And um, yeah, that's that's kind of my view at the moment. Uh, could just turn out to be a range. It just broadens itself to here. And just mucks around here for the whole session. Also possible. So uh, it's very difficult to anticipate what's going to happen, especially when there's uh, it's holiday season like this. So normally what I would be doing is just watch the five-minute chart. It's going to be a lot easier. Um, to do a couple of scalps. Okay, same structure as what we do. Uh, look for your double bottoms, like there's a double bottom there. Look for your double tops, there's a micro double top there. Look for your range breaks, uh, there's a range break down, range break up. Okay, so that's kind of the, the setup that we'll be looking at today. Um, but I, if, if something, if there's some news that comes out or some catalyst that comes out, I think the downside is the one to look for because uh, everything is just uh, the Dow and the DAX are both looking a little bit bearish or a little bit top heavy if I can put it that way rather than bearish because the trend is up. Okay, anyway, that's it for me today. Hope it helps and uh, I'll catch you later. Cheers for now.